they'll be calling you radical. I want to put up a quick video concerning the so-called Fisher Alliance in Japan. It's being reported they're going back to fishing. We've tested 100 fish, and only five of them are contaminated. And we're, if you're buying into this propaganda, you are a moron fool. Do not eat fish, period. I'm telling you, out of the Pacific. Stay away. I was a huge tuna eater. Yeah, I was perfectly good healthy when I got mowed down by the truck. And I want people to know that I went from, it's been almost two years. I mean, I was perfectly healthy to the next day, perfectly near dead. I mean, it happens fast, it's hardcore. If you believe any of this bullshit, it's the economic thesis that they're shoving down your throat. The American thesis, which is the Japanese way, the so-called 3.5% growth, as let's remember, oh, the Nikkei peaked at in 1986, as I live to tell, at 35,000, what is it today? You guys keep falling for this. It's just like you fall two years ago today, doing videos right here, before I got sick, when the market's melting down. And I tell you, double down, double down. I did how many subs of edit videos? How many did I do? When the Dow was 9,600, 9,500, what is it today? I did a video right here telling you two years ago to get out of silver at 47. I did a video two years ago to the day that gold was 1900, get out. I mean, it's been unbelievable. Max Kaiser has their guts. I mean, wow. Oh God, I've been so accurate. He's been so dead wrong. It's now granted his corruption thesis, but this thesis that somehow America's gonna collapse and it's gonna go away and currency's going to zero and the Federal Reserve, blah, 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 blah. And you guys, I don't want you guys. You're pathetic. You, you're, you're almost enemies. My march at Washington Square, I wanna hammer home a few points. I wanna hammer home this is, I could give a damn about the baby boomer and echo boomer and the masses. They're too gone. They're too dogmatic. Because right in their face, they can't see the truth. They don't want the truth. Look, this trickle-down economics, this fairy tale freaking getting rid of tariffs and this whole world trade thing that we tried, you know, oh, it trickled down. The greatest redistribution of wealth to the 1% in human history. Not just any redistribution. But this is so the theories that you practice and you're going down, you want to keep going down because it doesn't matter. You can show them right and you're slapping your stupid face. I want to talk about some of the reasons we're going to Washington Square. One, the sure waste fire. 2011, 2013. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, 1911 to 2013. The sure waste fires, you have no morality. You're wearing blood on your clothes. Those fires and those deaths in Bangladesh, they're you. They're you. You did this. I'm speaking to the 35 and under. I would like to say I'm so sorry for what us ignorant, dumb, echo boomers and baby boomers did to your world. We annihilated it. We were handed on a silver platter by our parents, a country with no debt, full employment, full health care. We had it all. We had it all. Look what we gave to you. 17 trillion down. You guys just keep marking. What's it, that old cliche, the definition of insanity? Doing the exact same thing, expecting the different results. And I want to read this as far as Barack Obama. Me and a friend of mine named Jay work on this. Jay, he's brilliant. He's a socioeconomist like me, and we talk and talk and he's, God, Kevin, I used to think you were over the top of Fukushima until, you know, you're on it. Dear President Obama, your presidency legacy is in peril. You are looking like a warmongering madman over Syria and Iran, while the most important issue facing the whole of humanity is the three runaway reactor meltdowns in Fukushima. The anti-nuclear activists, I respect, is convinced, that'd be me, your mother was a downwinder from the Nevada nuclear test sites. So, Radioactive isotopes have personally touched you in the most intimate relationship of your life. Fukushima is making every human being on the planet downwinders. There is absolutely no more pressing issue facing humankind today than entombing Fukushima. TEPCO, TEPCO doesn't have the resources, and the whole of Japan probably doesn't have the capacity to deal with these three runaway reactors. This needs to be made a worldwide issue. What we're talking about here is no less than the radioactive poisoning of planet Earth's air, water, land, the and the world's human food chain. Political issues just don't get any bigger than this. You're going to go down in the history books as the president who observed over Middle East oil dominion while the entire planet was being poisoned by the worst radioactive catastrophe in human history. Please reach outside the White House bubble, Mr. President, and consult some of the anti-nuclear experts on the gravity of this situation. My friend Jay wrote that. Look, this issue is giant. 
It is morality issue. This is for Thomas Ackerman. A lot of people don't know this. Three years ago, I was in Washington Square in that crazy windstorm, you New Yorkers know, 2010, walking around looking for Jackson Pollock's first studio over there on 8th Street. We're going to this place at Washington Square for so many reasons. I'll explain when I get there, the shirt race fire. As you got the Bangladesh blood all over you, thousands dying, you killed them, you don't care. You don't care. You have, Americans have no morality. They, they have none, zero. You know, slaves in Asia, in China, chief Chinese jobs, they don't care. The same fairy tale economy, they don't care. Fuck the baby boomers, fuck the echo boomers, I'm sick of them. Dogmatic, they think I owe them something. Oh, you better take pictures of a guy that told me, fuck you. This is for the post ignorance. I want to say this. A lot of people don't know this. Pollock's study was right there on 8th. He was broke off his ass. He was starving. I mean, literally. So one day, him and Motherwell walked out to Washington Square. Very few people know this. They set their paintings on the sidewalk to sell them. A few people bought. And by the way, I think one of them's still working around. Somebody bought. They never did find it. They don't know this. No one knows this. You know? Believe it or not, a young curator at the MoMA as show got me in there. I'm like, go to work on this. As I was trying to organize post ignorance then and Occupy, remember Occupy was started with some group that we were right there with five people. This is for Akron. Mrs. Whitney came walking by. Mrs. Vanderbilt Whitney. She was like, whoa, those are nice. The rest is history. And a few people that don't understand art and socioeconomics and philosophy and what has this got to do with nuclearism? It's everything that's got to do with nuclearism. Everything. QE1, QE2, QE3, QE4. Go down the same road. Your Aunt Ryan free market fairy tales that worked out so fucking nice for her because you're dogmatic. Keep buying fucking silver. Keep buying gold. You missed out on those giant returns on fucking equities. Glenn Bell, oh, you tell your dollar, I'll play my president at 6,000. Buy silver 40 million. You know, keep going down those roads. Keep going. This guy says, oh, you say it's a, not a finite commodity. Let's get real. 99% of it's still on the earth. Silver and gold, you know how much is mined every single day? Kaiser's been dead wrong. Glenn Beck's been dead wrong. CNBC's been dead wrong. All these people. I've been more than Cassandra-like. I mean, it, it's mind-boggling. How come you ain't so rich, Kev? Oh, now you know why Fukushima's the big issue. I was rich. I forked every dime over to get into the bone marrow transplant center and get Fukushima bigger. And I like all you people that are telling me how to live. My dietician says, can you believe these dogs? I says, it's the thumbprint of echo boomers and baby boomers. As our parents used to say, oh, God forbid, when you spoil rock punk ass and run this country, I'll be glad I'm dead. Oh, were they right. Baby boomers and boomers are the worst group of people in the history of humankind. The fucking trickle down economics is worse. Because this is not commentary, this is documentary, the beauty of YouTube. You're your own fucking worst enemy. I could give a fuck if any of you show up. I mean, I want our small army. Because we need leaders like you, because we have to lead these fucking mules to the fucking trough and shove their dogmatic, dumb fucking heads in the trough. Because they're going down the same road. The greatest redistribution of wealth in human history uh, with these policies, and you want to keep using these policies. Same old, same old. Oh, the Fed, and left guy, the Fed, and go to Fed, the Fed, the Fed in fucking 1913. The Fed started in the 1780s. Yeah, I got named the Fed. It's been all kinds of dynamics. Greenspan kidnapped the fucking Corrupt? Fuck yeah, that's corrupt. Bernanke, helicopter band, dribbling up, fuck pathetic. QE1, QE thing was against the law, tough pushing boy. And you GOP, fairy market party, you're fucking lunatics. We're going to Washington Square because of the morality. The shirt waist fire. The Bangladesh, that last one killed 1,200 people. You don't give a fuck. Because I know baby boomers, they have no morality. They're living in a facade just like their styrofoam, fake rock fucking mansion and their fake fucking, fucking cosmetic surgery all over them. 90% are so fucking far and fucking dead, so fucking miserable. We'll pop some more pills. To, you know, we talk about drug dealers. I love it. I think about it. It's every time I drive by the grocery store, drive up pharmacies. That's the thumb for America. Drive up pharmacies. Stay off the fucking fish, I'm telling you. Stay out of the Pacific. Stay untuned. Stay untuned. That fish, 2,500 times. The fish are not fucking safe. They're lying to you, everything, in the propaganda fucking war. Go for it, because I'm tired of fucking telling you the fucking truth. I'm tired of my perfect credibility that no one wants to listen because you don't want the fuck truth. You go ahead and listen to these fuckers lie to you on propaganda and posture you into the fucking grave. Go for it, not me, motherfucker. Stay in tune.